morning. I am filming this Saturday. You're seeing this, hopefully you're seeing this Sunday. That's the goal. And I have a full day, so I thought, let's just film me putting my makeup on and I still have my coffee. Oh. Mm. Very hot coffee because I popped it in the microwave just to make it extra hot to last through this. Everything I'm using today, except for my moisturizer and the brushes, are drugstore. So the only thing I'm using today that's not drugstore is the moisturizer. And I really wanted to give this a go. I haven't really tried it. It's the Dr. Jart Cicapair Derma Green Solution Tiger Grass Color Correcting Treatment. And the reason I particularly wanted this, not that I really have a lot of discoloration. Well, I mean, I have this, but all of this is freckles. So that's not going anywhere. Um, it has an SPF of 30 and it's very sunny today. It's going to be, I think, 77 degrees outside. That's insane. Apply a moderate amount. Oh, after a moisturizer. Okay, well, hang on. Let me, <laughs> this is not a moisturizer. Let me go get my moisturizer. I'll be right back. I'm gonna just use my usual Colin Rothschild sheer renewal treatment. Sheer renewal, is it tre not treatment? Sheer renewal cream. It's early, I haven't finished my coffee. I've done everything else already. Eye cream, serums, stuff, okay. Now we will try this stuff. I just have a few new products I wanna try. Um, apply moderate amount and it'll change from green to beige. Um, I have my new, oh, this is thick, it's like paste. The new Nordstrom mirror. I've been told by many of you that it is sold out. They have other ones. I'll link, if I can, and they don't just sell it at Nordstrom. So I will find a new link for you guys, maybe a few. Okay, well, it's not green anymore, but, oh God, this stuff is kind of thick. It smells very clean and green though, I like it. I'm not honestly noticing any change in my skin tone, but you tell me. Well, no, this is the good side. This is the not, no, mm -mm. I don't know, but at least I have SPF now, so that's good. Okay, now let's get into the fun part of this. So the first is my favorite drug. I say if it's sold at Walmart in the store, it's drugstore. This is the Flower Beauty Light Illusion Luminous Makeup Nude Skin Feel. I'm in the shade um, L1 Porcelain. I'm just a porcelain princess. And um, I always take two pumps. I probably don't need two pumps, but I... Try to get the most coverage by plopping it directly on the, what's on my face? Is that pen? What is, dog fur, okay. Popping it on the spots that need the most concealing. My favorite, one of my favorite um, foundation combinations, if I were to throw in a non-drugstore product, is mixing this with Estee Lauder Double Wear. Perfection. Let's see, I do want a little more coverage, so I'm gonna go with a brush. If I wanted to sheer this out a little and make it look more natural, I would use this guy. I have a sponge, that's the flower one. So today, I am getting my nails done right after this. It's been, I think, over three weeks since I had my nails filled. I get a lot of questions about my nails, so I'll throw it in here. Um, they are acrylic, good old fashioned pink and whites, except there's no white, it's just pink. And I go every two weeks to get them filled normally when I'm a little more, okay, what? Dog hairs. Um, when I'm a little more on top of my game and I just get them refilled and then I always just put polish, regular good old fashioned nail polish, usually Zoya, not always. I'm kind of, this, because the, um, I'm finding, this usually has great slip, but the Sika pair is pretty sticky, so, and I have, like, an eyelash, I'm covered in weird hair, I don't know what that is, um, it doesn't, it's not, there's not as much slip, I would say, let me get a little closer, so I can make sure I'm all blended, so anyway, I'm getting my nails done, and I have to leave in 40 minutes, so I gotta get moving here, and then, um, we bought a car. I finally picked a car. It took me like three, how long have I been looking? Months. Anyway, so we settled on everything at the dealership like half an hour before they closed. So um, 
They sent us home in a loaner so they could get my car ready. So I'm going to pick that up later this afternoon. And then I need to do some holiday shopping because it's Sunday's the first day of Hanukkah, and guess who hasn't bought anything yet? Okay. Um, so, Under Eye Brightener, the drugstore version is the Maybelline. Whoa, that's a lot of pigmentation. Maybelline Instant Age Rewind in the, uh, I think it's the Brightener shade. Mine, I know you guys told me to twist it when the cap is down to make it click up. I got a dud. It's no bueno. Okay. So, for this, I will use the ginormous sponge. I love this sponge, but the size is for, you know, detail work like around your eyes is a little much. I mean, come on, look at this. But it's a great little, not so little sponge, very smooshy, which I, I really like actually. Okay, then um, to layer over that, cause that can, well, you know what? No, I want, I think there's still a little darkness here. I'm gonna use the Maybelline Conceal, um, Camouflaging Concealer in the shade 10 and just pop that really where I see the darkness go towards the light okay I don't need a lot and I know I did use the sponge but I think maybe I sheared it out a little too much maybe that was the problem with the sponge so we'll use the other end of this brush it's their heavenly Lux. Complexion Perfection Brush. It's quite a handy little brush. Okay. I don't know if you can see, it's just a lit, I only did it right here. Just a little bit brighter. Okay, but now to conceal blemishes, I like to use a different one. And I just picked up a new one of the Flower Beauty Light Illusion Full Coverage Concealer. Because we need some full coverage. And obviously it looks better on top of the foundation of the same name. And I'm just gonna use this brush to kinda pat it in. I do um, get makeup that collects in the nasolabial folds. I wish there was a different term for this area. And I like to use the small side of the brush to kinda wipe it out. And here too. It's not gonna make the wrinkles go away, but you definitely don't want in a little bit under the eye. You definitely don't want that concealer settling in there, so anything you can do to help. I don't have um, a drugstore powder that I like specifically for under my eyes. I have nothing to compare to the um, Laura Mercier Secret Blurring Powder. And I don't know where all my drugstore powders went, but I found this one. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow, which is, it's okay. Some things the drugstore does very well, and some things I'm still like, I'm gonna stick with higher end. So there's technically two colors in this, but I'm just going to swirl the brush around and kind of just use both. I think one's a little more shimmery than the other. And I'll use a smaller brush just to get some under the eyes. Concentrating more on the glowy side. Okay, we are powdered. Now, let us bronze. There's no better drugstore bronzer than the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. I have the shade, just butter bronzer. Not light, not deep, just the regular one. And let's add some color to this face. Concentrating it kind of under the cheekbones. It's sort of like a two-in-one deal. And then we sweep it just everywhere and a little on the jawline to kind of chisel it. Let's go back to the makeup. I am gonna use for highlighter one of my faves, period, drugstore or high-end, the Maybelline Master Chrome Face Studio Metallic Highlighter in the shade Molten Rose Gold. So this look that I'm gonna do, which you will know from the title <laughs> that I haven't put up yet, is um, it's sort of like an everyday glam. So you could definitely wear this during the day, which is what I do, but I know a lot of you like to keep it pretty low key and then maybe amp it up for a party or evening. So this look would, is great for every day if you like to be glammed out all the time or 
Like I am actually going to the Spurs game, this basketball team, tomorrow night. And we're going to be sitting in a box and kind of a little more fancy. So it would be a good look for that. For blush, I'm going with another um, fun one from L'Oreal. It's the Paradise Enchanted Scented Blush in Bashful. I don't The scent is here nor there. It's better than the normal L'Oreal scent that smells kind of like Guerlain violets, but not. Anyway, I just like the color. It's very glowy and pretty. I hope they keep this. I'm sure they're going to discontinue this line, but I like it a lot. Not for the scent. Like, they can get rid of the scent. I don't think anyone would be upset, but I really like this color. And that's it for the face. So let's zoom in and we will talk about eyes. Normally, I haven't used eyeshadow primer in a while. I just take my concealer and put it on my lids and I forgot to do that when we were doing the under eyes. So I'm just gonna do that now. And now I'm curious to, draw, to try this new brow product from L'Oreal. Not sure how I feel about it. It's called their Unbeliever Brow. They sent me all the shades. I looked at the blonde one, I did swatch it and it almost disappeared on my skin. And my brows are not really blonde. They're more like a, they're brown. So I picked, I think it's called Soft Brunette. Even with a magnifying glass, I couldn't read it. It's like, it's a little doe foot applicator. And then it also came with this little double-ended spoolie. It has a spoolie on one side and then like an angled brush on the other. I assume in the regular packaging, this would come with it. I don't, I would hope so. So it has the spoolie on one side and like a flat angled brush on the other. So it, the idea is that you slap it on and comb it through and shape it and it's supposed to be waterproof. You're supposed to only be able to get it off with like an oil-based remover. I'm gonna comb through my brows very quickly. I still have pillow creases on my face. Nice, okay. And, okay, I'm a little nervous. Oh, that's dark. Hmm. I don't know how I feel about this because, oh, okay, once you comb it through, that's not horrible. I just don't know if you're trying to fill in a lot how this is gonna work. See, like I don't have a lot going on here. So I technically need to do it over the skin but that doesn't look like hair. It looks like marker on my face. I don't know, I don't know. Seems like a lot of effort that could go horribly wrong if your hand shakes or, okay, see now I have like macho grouchy marks on this side and they're uneven. I mean, they're always uneven. I'm trying to shape it a little. I mean, they're pretty, they're pretty not close, but oh well. Okay, maybe after I film, I will pull out my NYX pencil and even that out. But so I guess, do I need the NYX brow mascara to put it in place? I don't know, but we're going to. Why not? Kind of lock that in. And let's get to the fun part, the eyes. So I've been wearing this a ton gotten a lot of compliments from people in real life and people on the internet. It's the Milani Bold Obsessions palette. And this is not like an earth shattering look. I literally just, bas I basically go down this row. I use this row and then for my crease, because there's no matte crease tone in here, I just pop over to the one on the far right. So that's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna walk through it. So um, fluffy brush, this is a Sigma 40. I'm just using that this one, it is called Bear in Mind. <laughs> um, and I'm just first gonna make sure that my concealer is not creasing. Actually, I lied. You know what I'm gonna do with a big fluffy brush? I'm gonna go in with the cream shade, which is called Can't Pink Straight. There's no pink in it. And I'm just gonna go over that whole lid kind of crease area just so that there's no powder. No concealer stuck in there. Okay, now going in with a fluffy brush and, sorry, I should face you, um, bear in mind. 
It's not a ton of color. You can definitely build it up, but it gives you a transition. And I'm do my crease is low, so I'm going more in the socket line so that my hooded eyes don't look quite so hooded. And I'm going back and forth, arching it a little bit, but I'm not pulling it all the way down. And I am going all the way to the side of my nose. And I'm pulling it out this way. And you can always go back and add more if you wanna deepen the color. And then I'm taking kind of a domed pencil brush. This is a Luxie 229 tapered blending with that same color. I'm, I don't know why I keep turning sideways. Um, I'm just sweeping it under the eye and kind of pulling it up to connect. This is where I did something very different. I never do a very dark shade in my outer corner and I realized that it makes a big difference. That's the glam factor. I realized if you just have normal everyday makeup on and then you're going out, just add a really deep color, blend it out in the corner, and suddenly you're glammed out. So we are going to use Brunettes Have Fun, do they? Just kidding. With um, a MAC 217 or a Sigma E25 or any kind of tapered blending brush, tap it off. And if you're worried about the color, you can even put it on the back of your hand. We can build, but it's hard to um, take it off. And so I'm going to just stamp it. I'm resting it just in the corner. And I'm holding it pretty far back on the handle so that there's even less pressure. And I'm just doing very small circular motions and pull it up a little bit. See that? This blends out very easily, which is what we want. And I'm, because I have a hooded eye, I'm really making sure I get it in the real crease and pulling it up a little bit. And I'm not even going all the way. I'd say definitely this is clearly a third of the eye. And I want to be really clear because this always confuses me when I would watch other people doing makeup. It is pulled onto the lid a little bit too. Now I'm using a slightly more tapered fluffy brush. This is a Zoeva... 228 Lux crease, crease brush. It's really cool. It's more tapered, but still fluffy. I don't know how they do that. And now it's the fun part. I'm just working my way up this row. So the next one is a shimmer shade and it's called suede side to side. Oh, suede side to side. Okay. Dipping that in there and I'm putting it, I'm turning to the side because my big mirror is over there. Okay. Um, I'm putting it more on the lid, less on the crease, less on the corner, and then pulling it up. And this I'm gonna pull across into the crease. And then I'm taking that same kind of domed pencil brush, same color, and I'm not gonna use the darkest shade under my eye. Maybe if this were nighttime I would, but nah, I think this is enough. If you are more deeper skin tone than me, you can definitely get away with putting the darker shade underneath, but I think this is a lot. Okay, here's the, this is my favorite part. Now the next shade is Sands of Time. It's like a champagne-y shimmer, and my favorite tool, my finger, and I'm stamping it. You definitely get more color payoff with this if you stamp, and then I'm kind of blending it onto the other shade, kind of just tap, tap, tapping, makes it blend together. And I am pressing this also into the corner. It's like a two, two for one. Inner corner highlight and eyeshadow all at once. And then with that same brush, just making sure I get it a little bit underneath. Now, it did kind of cover up this really pretty suede shade, so I'm gonna actually go back with my finger and tap over where we had it before because I don't wanna lose that depth. And then with any kind of fluffy brush, I'm just using the top cream shade, that bare pink, can't pink straight. And I'm just kind of sweeping it, almost like an eraser because I'm adding it as my brow highlight, but then I'm sweeping it around the edges to make sure that the edges are diffused and blended. And if you don't want to lose that crease, you can certainly, Take a little fluffy brush and go back to the original crease color 
and just sort of go across the edge. And that'll soften it all up as well, which is what I'm doing right now. Because it's really fun. It's nice, it's pretty, and it makes it look more complicated if you can see the gradation of colors. I think I said that word right. If I didn't, y'all will let me know. Okay, I'm gonna curl my lashes first and then we'll do eyeliner. I know another thing I say, don't do this, black eyeliner. If you're gonna be glam, black definitely works. And one of my favorite drugstore ones is the Vinyl Eyes Glossy Gel Eyeliner from Flower Beauty. Um, not doing anything too glamorous. I take it and I lay it almost on its side and I just pull it along the lash line in a really thin line because I don't have a lot of lid space to begin with, so we don't need to take it up with eyeliner. And some of you may say, well, then why don't you just tight line and not put it on your lid? Because I wear contacts and I have dry eyes to begin with, and when I tight line, it is so uncomfortable, I can't stand it. Mascara. So I had tried this when, ev when it first came out and I was like, I don't see the hype. I'm not seeing it. It's the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise. They sent me another one and I recently tried it like in the last week and I'm, I was blown away. So I don't know what's changed. Is it me? I don't know. So we're going to use this. But they also sent me the Voluminous Lash Paradise Primer and this I'm excited about. So, oh. Same brush, I think, as the um, Lash Paradise, but I like it for, I think it'll be good for my under eye, especially because I don't have a lot to begin with, so it's going to help the mascara stick to whatever's there, and hopefully will also help with any flaking or smudging, which I haven't really seen, but you never know. Okay, not sure how I feel about that, but let's just use the real mascara now. And if you're new here, I always do my bottom lashes first, tipping my head down into an attractive double chin position. By doing that, it lifts your lower lashes away from your face so you don't get it, hopefully, on your face. Yeah, I will say the primer I think actually helped with um, defining what lashes I have. And then, or don't have. And then for the top, I do the same concept, but tilt your chin up, it lifts no matter how big you open your eyes, they because your head's tilted back, your lashes can't hit your upper lid. So here we go. I don't love the primer up here. I think it dried already is part of the problem. It's okay. I think it's not necessary. I think you can skip the primer. I feel like it's making them more separated actually than normal. And I don't like that look. I want the voluminous part. I want the big, thick, lashes. I don't want clumpy lashes, but I think you lose some volume. You might get a little more length. So this is the final look. Um, the Mix and Matte Lip Duo from Flower Beauty. Love it. I may be repeating myself, but I noticed that the camera shut off and I don't know when. So that's what I added. We are set for the day with the CoverGirl Look Lockup Setting Spray. I just pulled my hair out of the ponytail and just brushed it with my new favorite brush to brush with, even when it's dry, the wet brush. Um, I actually like this brush so much I got another one, and that's what I use to brush the dogs, the Westies. They, it gets their tangles up. Anyway, that's it. I hope you enjoyed it. I've listed everything below in the order that I used it. First the products, then the brushes. The one thing I am excited about, I don't know if you can see behind me all the stuff on the, on the island, I got the um, Too Faced Pretty Rich collection sent to me last night, and I am going to do a full Too Faced face for you and walk you through the products and the good, the bad. Oh, I don't know if there is any bad. The good, the bad, the ugly, or just the good. I don't know. We'll see. So stay tuned. That'll be coming up. As always, thank you so much for hanging out with me this month. Rowdy says hello as well, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.